what is up guys so today i am going to be showing y'all my coolest steer if y'all have if y'all have a cool steer um is this cool steer somewhere around here oh there it is cool steer all right so i'm gonna be showing y'all how to start it and ride it so first to start first what, what you gotta do is so you should have this cap on when you first get it it's usually a black black one but i, I got a blue one so what you're gonna do you don't take it like all the way off like this you don't take it all the way off oh shoot <clears throat> let me get that you you keep it open just a little bit like that you keep it open like that. All right. Um, hold on. Gotta do something. All right, there we go. So, um, it should come with the tail light, the keys, but you you should have this type of remote too that comes with it. And I'm. Um, say tunes, and I'll show y'all what that remote does. It's not really that cool. So, how to start it? Y'all must all be wondering this. Oh, yeah. One thing about the brakes. You got the foot brake and the handbrake. The handbrake, you could lock in place so it won't roll back. All right. So, and then this is how you go forward and backwards. That's what I'm going to be showing y'all when I start riding. You, there's this bar in the back. You could do anything. And uh, you can ask your parents if you could get, like, something like this, like a net. So, I feel like keep your helmet down and stuff like that. So let's get, um, sorry if it's windy for y'all. It's a pretty windy day. What's that play? Alright. So first, what we're gonna do is we're going to turn this on. Second, we're gonna go down here and turn that on. There's an on and off option on there and third oh yeah you can start it up with the foot brake or this brake i like to start it with the foot brake because it's easier to push down and then what you do you, you press this little thing right here oh yeah and one more thing on this side if you're just starting it up like at one day after this is cold start when you put it up and this is warm start when you put it down always have it on cold start so it could be like easier and stuff all right so let's start this thing back up all right so what when you press forward it doesn't have a light on there see when you go back once it's neutral when you go back again it should light up the red one I don't know if y'all can see that. And it should turn red. And this is how you shift gears. And st well, not shift gears, but switch this stuff. All right, now I'm gonna go for a little ride. All right. Never go like full speed on the first ride because that's like, um, that's not safe because you could pour, probably like blow out a piston or something. You could blow out something. Like you could do anything to it. Like so, like try try not to like go fast on the first time and stuff. Um, and yeah, hold on. Let's put that thing right there. When, if you're ever gonna stop, put it on neutral because 
it will, would roll away by itself if it's not. So I'm gonna turn y'all around. Put y'all on this thing. Yes, I'm gonna be making a um, Fortnite live stream today. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you how to turn on the lights. This is how to turn on the lights and stuff. It's pretty easy. This is how to go. Um, and that's all. So let's go. You could get gloves if you want. It's up to you. A helmet if you want, just for safety. Like, just in case, like, if you, like, flip over and stuff like that, you can have a helmet to protect your head because partially if you flip over, it, this, it could give you a concussion or something. Um, but, yeah. So, so it, so it might like, so it could give you some cushion and stuff like that. Like a, a helmet could really help you. Like in just a minute, I might put on my helmet so so I could talk to y'all through through the camera and stuff, or not the camera, but through the little mic thing that I got. like that. So yeah, I might do that. Uh, I got to put on my rider shoes. It's not exactly like this. Because I don't have like all that gear and stuff. For like, for, you could buy gear if you want. But if you go like a little too fast, like if you like just go pedal, pedal to the metal, it's going to cut you're a four-wheeler off, so you don't want to really do that. So, so, so now y'all know what to do on a four-wheeler, but um, you can still do anything. I mean, um, there's warnings all over it, so y'all gotta pay attention. Pay attention to those. And stuff like that because there's a lot of stuff. Um, everybody should know where the gas thing is. It's right here, and it has a warning by it too. So, what? Uh, it's like, yeah. Um, well, you. I believe it will have a warning on it. I hope it does. Because the yeah, beginners will really need it. So. Oh yeah. Um. show y'all what the chain should look like just in case like if anything happens like if your chain pops off or anything like my chain popped off once and and, and I put a, this little roller thing right here I put that wrong hold on let me put that so y'all can hear me I put this roller thing wrong and I put it in the middle 
You're not supposed to put it in the middle. You're supposed to put it under the chain so you can keep it nice and tight. Um, there's suspension, perfectly good. Uh, um, oh yeah. Just in case, like, you, like, want to ram into anything or stuff, there's a ram bar. That's just in neutral. You don't have to put it in neutral when you, like, turn it off. But I just like to put it in neutral just in case, like, if I have to push it and stuff like that. So... teach out more stuff or I could start writing a lot so just let's get at least 24 likes and I'll do it because I don't really want to do it so let's get at least 24 likes and I'll do it so thank you for watching bye